every person that is around you every person that you are close with your friends your family they resemble a part of you for example you get attracted to different people for different reasons because of different parts in yourself you want to reconnect them it's more so because you're familiar everybody that is in your life right now you're attracted to them for some type of reason inside of yourself most of the time the people that you're surrounded by are not going to be the best type of people shoot they probably could be negative they probably could be annoying whatever type of traits but that doesn't mean that you are necessarily a bad person it doesn't mean that you are negative but there's two reasons why i could tell you that you were surrounded by a negative person one is you need to wake yourself up to understand something about yourself understand a gift that you have whether it's empathy whether it's making an impact or whatever there's something that you gotta like wake up in yourself which this person has been in your life is gonna make you realize whether it's good or bad situations oh there is a turtle behind me i don't know if this turtle is poisonous it is orange and black i don't know if y'all see it moving y'all see it moving but y'all there is a reason why people come and go in your life nobody's meant to stay nobody that's not how life works people aren't meant to stay 100 percent in your life like that there's a reason why people are really around you for a certain period of time just to teach you something about yourself most people may get upset like oh you know this person left my life you know i don't know why it happened sometimes when you try to force people back into your life it don't work out because they're not meant to be it's not meant to be like that they're going to teach you something bring out something that you never knew about yourself before which is why new people come to your life to teach you something it's mainly about you it's mainly about growing yourself because you are the one who's living this life whether you realize it or not whether you think they're not doing any impact to you your brain is observing and you're learning you're processing things and later in life you might be needing it you might be remembering something that a person in your life did or something that they said and you might use it for your advantage or it may empower you in some way i don't know but every experience has a reason this is why i feel like almost everything has a reason think of everybody holding an imaginary mirror to reflect yourself the people who you let stay around you if they're negative they're toxic you gotta learn something about yourself you holding on too much you being a little bit of a people pleaser holding these people around even though they don't really care you gotta put yourself first they holding that mirror for you to show you to show up for yourself work on what you need to work on Honestly, that's how I think about it. Personally, I had bad experiences with people. It's how I learn. I'm grateful, actually, that I had bad experiences or negative people who came up to me in my life because they taught me something. I probably would have never learned something about myself, like learning how to be loving myself more, if those people didn't come in my life and show me the mirror of myself. Because honestly, you learn to love yourself when you know that you're not being treated right. And when you're not being treated right, that's your wake-up call, first wake-up call to be like, yo, something's wrong. I think I got to be here for myself more. Life is way deeper than it actually is. Honestly, life is very spiritual. So this is how I'm thinking about life, the people you surround yourself with. Y'all ever see friend groups with people and you be like, yo, they kind of act alike or they kind of have the similar traits. Certain traits that you could see in type of people's um friend groups or relationships you could tell like okay they kind of have this going on together you might be going through the similar things two people might be going through different things but they gotta get unlocked it's just so many different reasons why the people that you around you're surrounding yourself by them i can't tell you if the reason is good or bad but it's just for a reason everybody is holding a reflection mirror to show you who you really are i don't know about y'all but my theory of this happening is because i read a book upon this about like spirit guides that your spirit guide if in their past life they passed away right they didn't really get to fulfill their purpose i have two theories actually either your spirit god or guardian angel is the one that is making you pursue the purpose that they never fulfilled in their life because they died too soon or whatever or something happened they couldn't really fulfill their purpose that they needed to so they surround you with these people that are going to make you become the person that they needed to basically they didn't fulfill their life purpose so they're going to guide you which is why you have all these people around you for a reason and some people may say oh it's god god chose it but like honestly that's just my theory that I heard about. But another one is that you could have like already knew these people in past lives that you feel familiar with. In past lives, when you feel like a connection with someone, at a soon short amount of time you feel so familiar with the person, that's usually your sign that you have met them or had a connection with them in your past life or whatever. So the soul has been reincarnated multiple times or whatever in different lives, but you still have a connection with this different type of people that you meet or whatever. 
everything feels like it's for a reason for me. If the stuff in my past did not happen to me, then I wouldn't be the person I am today. Honestly, this could mean something real simple to you. Like, oh, it's not that deep. This is kind of obvious. Everybody surrounds yourself with people they're similar with. But honestly, for me, I think it's really deep. When they leave and finally exit your life, I feel like that's when you finally learn your lesson and it's on to the next level of your life. It's on to the next level of your development. That's what I really think about. I'm gonna stop yapping, y'all. This is just gonna be a little quick video. But I'll be back with another video soon, my little edges. I'm gonna start posting like on Wednesdays now, y'all. Because I feel like I need to be consistent. So, that's gonna be that. Bye, my little edges. Bye.